certainly is. I mean, right now we do have a little bit of cloud cover out there, Jim, but clouds will be breaking for sunshine as we continue towards the afternoon. Storm skin three picking up on some high clouds, but that's pretty much it. The showers that we had, they really did not amount to anything, not even slick roads. I mean, it was just very, very uh, unimpressive this morning, and those have since vanished from our vicinity. We're going to remain relatively dry here for the rest of tonight, and tonight does promise clear skies. An overnight low of 51 degrees, and winds will remain relatively calm. All right, let's get to it because it is still hurricane season. We're dealing with, or to our south, I should say, dealing with tropical storm Gamma, producing some rain across portions of the Yucatan Peninsula out in Mexico, and some of that moisture is even streaming north into the Florida Peninsula. But this one, tropical storm Delta, it formed earlier this morning, and this one is the one that we are closely monitoring. Not only is it going to be shifting right along into the Gulf of Mexico, but notice, models do have it intensifying. Right now, the it's packing max sustained winds of 45 miles an hour, and it is moving relatively slow at moving west at seven miles an hour. Now, as it continues to just uh, cross the passage between the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba, it'll be moving right along and into the Gulf of Mexico. And as you can see, a Category 1 storm. Watch what happens as it continues to move and experience these very, very warm waters. A category two. And we do have it moving into Louisiana. Right now it's too, too early to tell. But nonetheless, we will be watching this closely because it does have interest across the United States. As the disturbance continues to move north and east, and this is by the end of the week, our precipitation chances creep up. We'll show you that in just a moment. But pretty much starting today and through our Friday, we are nice and dry. And even the majority of Saturday still looks to be dry. Before we get there, let's bookmark it. Let's go through today. 69 degrees, clearing skies outside, turning clear with temperatures diving into the low 50s. For tomorrow, milder. And that mild trend will continue with us here for the middle of the week. The only thing I'm watching both Tuesday, Wednesday, and even into the day on Thursday, it's going to be a little bit breezy. If I had to pick a day, who's going to see the wind? Windiest day, it's going to be Wednesday. We'll see windy conditions. It'll turn warmer with highs climbing to 76 degrees. And then a cold front will be sweeping through. That's going to bring our temperatures back down. We're back in the 60s here on Thursday, and we're even cooler than that as we wrap up the work week Friday. But we remain nice and dry. Now we're watching that tropical storm Delta. And as it continues to work its way through the United States, we will be tapping into some of that moisture Saturday night and into Sunday. Right now, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, you look dry, but the Jersey Shore back down towards Delaware. That's where I have the chance of rain, Janelle. Of course, once we move closer to that date, we'll have a better forecast. All right, not a bad week, Larissa. We'll take it. <laughs>